my name is Steve Downing. Mostly in Bartlesville and and this community here, uh, around uh, from in this area, I had my dad had sisters, and they had boys my age and stuff like this. So I was home here uh, all summer, like like a, a, was just there up around Bartlesville and went to school up there. We were down here almost every summer, mo most of the summer. It was Dad and uh, uh, Steve. And that, and that's that's all that's all he has, and that's all I've got, Steve. Never never no middle name or anything. And my mo and my mother's name is Maud Mosley. I get I knew I'd get this. Me, me and them boys, we run up and down the creek. Being being down there in the summertime, we'd we'd be be, be in the creek most of the day. And and, and and he he had that little old gig that was short handled. But but he he couldn't he couldn't miss him the red horse when they're running, and, and we just we just go up the creek like that and I and I'd get a willow limb, and, and when they'd kill one, well, I'd put it on that willow limb and just stick it in the bank and we'd go on up, on, on up the creek. Back then there was there was islands between the Grand River and, the, and Spring Creek, and, and uh, we'd we'd. Uh, Go down on the islands, and you talk about a game. We'd be going along, and if you could see, you could see a wasp nest in, in a tree, uh, say, say, no, not much higher than the ceiling over there from here to that corner, and and, and uh, you could you could let that other other fellas in front of you, if they if they's walking under pretty close to it, you just pick up a rock and hit it with. You know, and, and 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 watch watch things scatter, you know. They they was fellas down in there had some old donkeys, you know, and, and uh, we'd catch them old donkeys and ride them bareback all all over them islands and stuff like it. it just uh, do it, have something to do, you know. And of course, of course, uh, if we could get if we get some twenty two shells and stuff, we would take a twenty two down there and kill some squirrels to bring back and stuff like that. Well, in the summertime, me and them old boys slept on the front porch outside. So, and sometimes we'd run up and down the road. Never did have no snake problems, but we'd run up and down the road barefooted and and, and hardly any clothes on, you know, uh, uh, like that. After after we went to bed, the rest of them went to bed. While we, we'd we'd run around up and down the road, uh, of course. Well, uh, uh, east was down a hill, a little steep hill right there. But, but uh, uh, over west and north was all, almost a level road. Uh, so we, we, and of course, that was across the railroad track too. Back then, there was hardly any money around. Now, I see that you're getting, you're getting now back, back in uh, uh, the. Well, well uh, say that I was born in '25, so up in '29. Uh, I'm uh, about five, and, and, and then up in the 30s, while well, I'm, I'm uh, getting up in school, uh, grade school, and stuff like that. And uh, uh, my dad didn't have any money, uh, and he and to, to gave us any money to, to go to school on anything. I always said what I done. I walked up and down the alley to school, uh, this alley or that alley, and I'd, I'd pick up every old aluminum pot and stuff like that. There, there was a fella that, that run a little old thing that bought that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'd pick all that up and and, uh, and take it by there, and I'd get me a few pennies, you know. It's prohibition time, and and uh, people bought liquor and stuff. I, I'd pick up them whiskey bottles. I never did take them to them, but there's another bootlegger down down to the street uh, north and, and over west over there. Well, well you, you, could, you could get a nickel or or maybe a little less for for whiskey bottles. So I, I I had some I had some pennies most of the time from picking up stuff going up and down the alley and taking it up there to the junk, junk dealer. And my dad liked to hunt, and, and uh, I went with him a hunting uh, out out what they call the Forty Nine Hill out there. I carried an old gun from the time I was big enough to carry a gun, like you know, like 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 a twenty two and a shot. A, 410 shotgun. Before we lived up there across the road w was a vacant uh, block. So they, they, they'd get, they'd get uh, 
corn stalks from someplace and set those up over there, and and, uh, and they they'd shoot corn stalks up, up over there, and I'd go over there and watch them. They they whooped them for talking Cherokee down there, down there, uh, and uh, I, I guess I guess pretty much so. And, and and then then they put the dress on them and stood them right in the doorway where everybody come in to eat their meals to, to embarrass them and, and like that. Uh, for talking Cherokee. And so I always figured they just pretty well broke him from, from ever ever speaking Cherokee anymore. Even even when we were around Cherokee people, if they if they said something to him, they'd never talk to him a whole lot, but if they wanted something, you know, uh, like like a match or, or something like that, time of time of the day, why they'd say something to him, he'd answer them. But I never did I never did see hear him say anything to them in Cherokee first. He built that house at about 26. Now this, this uh, uh, Cedar Crest Country Club down here, uh, there's a lot of houses on the hillside over in there. And, and part of that, part of that was my dad's allotment. He sold it to, to uh, 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 oil men and stuff out of, out of Tulsa. See, and and, and they, they started that, that, that country club over there. Well, in fact, his homestead allotment. I think the way he told it to me. The little people, I, I was I was told that that uh, that uh, there was little people up, little people up and down the creek and around, you know, it, that uh, that uh, you might hear something up and down the creek like that. My my grandfather, uh, like I said, on my dad's side, uh, died when he when my dad was about eleven. But he'd he'd put he'd put food out for the little people of a night, 